Good morning, collective. So right off the bat, I'm B, by the way. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Sideris LLC. Um, I'm getting that somebody wants you back. You know, this happens a lot. It's just the energy. It doesn't mean they're going to make a move. It's just what's coming through. Somebody misses you. Somebody also just is crushing on you. This is a different energy. It's um, And they can't understand why they are so into you. And they're uh, having trouble shaking that feeling but it's just it feels like a crush so there's one person crushing another person that wants you back and then also some of you need to drink a lot more water just a lot more water like i'm getting the image almost of like lava flow and there needs to be something to quicken that flow it's almost like something's getting stopped up i'm not a doctor at all <laughs> okay but I think yeah, some somebody needs to purify purify their body. So if you intermittent fast or anything like that, or drink lots of water, um, now would be a good time to pick that up again, just for you know for a time or whatever. But maybe go to the doctor too, just get a checkup. It it doesn't feel like it's crazy serious. It's just maybe your body is like, hey, we need water. <laughs> um, so yeah, that came through. And then I also had a message that it's okay to start again. It's okay to start again. It's okay to start over. And then when I split the deck there, somebody may be coming through with an apology um, from some kind of partnership that you've had in the past. Okay. All right, so let's get into the tarot. Let's just jump right in for the collective and see what the tarot has. So first up, we have the Two of Swords. So somebody is missing the truth of a situation or they're just too busy to, to take a moment and see the truth of a situation. Now we have the Chariot that came out. Cancer Energy. Oh man, and we have, I'm not gonna take these yet because they fell out, but we have the Seven of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles, so some kind of deceptive giving, some kind of deceptive, unequal give and take in a situation. Or somebody's giving you something, maybe giving you something with ill intent or giving you something, not even with ill intent, but to get something else from you. So you may think it's a pure intent or somebody gives you something, you're like, oh my God, thank, thank you, but they're looking for something from you. They're not being fully honest about what it is they want. Let's continue on. Okay, that happens a lot. People have motives. People have ulterior motives. That's what it's coming through as, yeah. An, an ulterior motive with those two cards, Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. What else wants to come out here? This is your focus, King of Wands energy, taking charge of your day, um, fire energy. Maybe you're passionate about something. And the King of Wands is traditionally very attracted. You could be concerned with your appearance right now. You could be changing your wardrobe, changing your hairstyle, maybe getting a makeover of some sort. And, um, and I'm hearing dress to impress. And then you're also doing the damn thing from what I'm hearing. It's very, um, yeah, oh, <laughs> we have a pair here. This is the advice, Queen of Wands energy. All right. This is your advice for the Queen of Wands. It's interesting that there's a pair here. So somebody could see you as their equal, but they're not telling you that, or they see you as their match, and they're not telling you that. So you you may have received a gift or something like that. This is gonna get on your nerves a bit, maybe when you realize this, because presently you don't see it. We have the Two of Swords, or this is somebody around you. Um, so I think you could be someone who doesn't appreciate ulterior motives, like, why can't somebody just be honest with you? But I don't feel ill intent yet. But let's get this outcome. But it's like somebody, and I'm hearing nothing from nothing, you've got to have something. Nothing from nothing, you've got to have something. This is all about an exchange. Somebody wants to exchange with you. What's our outcome here for the collective? 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, like I told you, I'm not feeling any negative intent. I just feel like you don't see something that you received. It's because somebody wants to build with you. They see you as their partner is what I'm feeling here. Your advice is to not be concerned about the motive, but just to do your thing. Because you are worthy of whatever this gift is. This could be a monetary gift. This could be an investment in a company. Somebody might have done this to get closer to you. And then for others of you, I just see here because the temperance is here, more fire energy, right? We have the pair, king and queen of wands, ten of pentacles, and the temperance here. A sage angel watching over, yeah, two of cups. This is, I'm hearing a song, it's gotta be destiny, but I feel like somebody is thinking this. Um, you may not be aware of it at all, and this person may be right now in another situation. What I'm feeling um, intuitively, this person, and that's why they're not telling you. I feel like it's very well disguised, and that's why this Two of Swords is here, but let's clarify the Two of Swords. This person has, I'm hearing, an interest, and they're seeing you as like, oh my goodness, <laughs> this is it, this is, the, this is the one, this is my match. It doesn't have to be romantic, but it is like some sort of match that's perfect to individuals who are passionate about something coming together to build. This is the outcome, but I want to see, let's clarify. What's this two of swords here? I feel like they're trying to keep themselves balanced with that temperance energy and not reveal this emotion that they're feeling. This crushing energy, like, um, oh man, yeah, wow. So whatever you're doing or whatever you've just begun, you may be discounting it a bit or you're just going about it, taking it day by day, but what it looks like is that it's extreme potential here. Two of swords clarified by the Empress. That's lovely. In a rare case, what I'm feeling for some of you, like, very specifically is you may not know someone is pursuing you romantically but they have another situation but I'm not getting that as the main story that's like a side note so just be mindful if you're dating someone to keep your eyes open to don't be like grilling them but do ask the proper questions when you're getting to know someone because sometimes you'll just assume because they're not wearing a ring and you're having a good time that they're available but that's not always true so do your, you know, stay um, on top of the situation if you feel like that could be you. But for the majority of you, I feel like this is just you don't see that something you're doing is going to over time grow into something really beautiful. And you're not supposed to know. And that's kind of the beauty of life sometimes is you just certain things grow when you're not expecting it, you know, and and when you're reading tarot sometimes it's hard to keep that in mind because it's our business to to know <laughs> but there is something beautiful that's coming towards you it looks like a like a passionate pairing whether it be in romance or whether it be in business or what have you that's going to take off yeah you could be so busy with this uh chariot energy crossing the two of swords it's like your mind is on other things you're, you're focused on growing in another area and you maybe don't see that you have i'm hearing what you wished for coming your way but i feel like this is the right thing this is right so whatever you're focusing on continue to focus on that don't be focused on yeah here we have the seven of pentacles so something you could have wished for a long time ago it's like it's coming back around now yeah, and it's been a long road for you. I'm hearing it's been a long road. What's between that? The hangman, yep. There's been a period of enlightenment and a, a period of delay, but there's something now that's gonna be unfolding, all right? Lovely, I do like this energy. Um, let's clarify the chariot. Exactly. You're focused on other things, and I feel like that's what you're supposed to be doing. You've got, uh, we, what's that channeled message that came through? It's okay to start again. You're starting again. You're focused on that. Whatever new endeavors you've got going on, that's what you've been focused on. 
Exactly. <laughs> Sorry, I just heard a slogan. <laughs> so random. But it is about work for some of you, for sure. And it's taking your strength to do this. You've been soldiering through a situation. Um, but it's working to your favor. And I'm getting that Moonology deck energy, like your hard work is paying off. So your focus right now being the King of Wands, this passionate take charge energy, maybe getting control of your schedule. Um, and I just heard the word discipline and I'm, yeah, working toward discipline, working toward changing things around in a certain situation, it's benefiting you. What is this King of Wands here? Yeah. I think you spent time alone, hermit energy here, working on yourself finding some answers, maybe evaluating certain delays. That flame is like really sending a glare. It's like burning right along with this energy. We've got a combination of all the elements here. We have, for the present moment, air. For the crossing, we have water. Because whatever this is that you were going through, it took you through an emotional period of growth. And for the focus and advice, we have fire. This is the time to pull off with that chariot energy. And you see he's creating fire in the chariot as he goes forward, right? And then in fact, the outcome here, we have Earth. Really successful pinnacle energy. I love it. This is balance as well, and we saw the temperance earlier. But it's like you're, you're starting again, and you're starting with a new perspective. So when, when you're, maybe you're having that realization it's okay to start again, and with that realization, you're giving yourself that grace that you really wish you had the first time around. You are, and that's powerful energy. It's like you're seeing something from a completely new perspective. You're understanding the blessing in the small things. Um, you're cherishing things more. This energy is going to help you so much. And I just heard in the coming years, and I also heard months, in the coming months and years, Okay, what's beneath this hermit? This is justice for you. Oh. 12.22 was on the clock as I said that. Wow, this is powerful. I feel like really um, a lot of gratitude coming through as well. And maybe you don't feel that yet, but gratitude is, an, is it's very infectious and it's very contagious. And if you start to maybe work with that energy, it'll help you even more. That's what I'm feeling. But... This Knight of Swords is helping you right now. I know a lot of people, when they pull the Knight of Swords, and sometimes it's very accurate, you know, reckless energy, you know, somebody not thinking, somebody doing something silly, not thinking first, but this is not the Knight of Swords in this reading. The Knight of Swords is helping you to focus in this reading. It's going right along with this Chariot energy, focusing on the right things, willpower and determination to see something through, And then we have the Three of Wands just beneath that Justice card. So after a period of, and I'm hearing a long period of delay, this is beginning for you. What about this Queen of Wands here as our advice? Yeah, whoever this person is, they do see you as their match and they may know it now, but they're not saying anything to you. Interesting. Five of Pentacles is clarifying the Queen of Wands. And you know what? The Six of Pentacles, there it is again. The Six of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So it's like you had been working through some confusion with that Seven of Cups and that Four of Cups just feeling disappointment. But the Ace of Cups is there. This is after a tower. You had to go through a long period of just maybe questioning yourself. But your advice here is now you're changing your perspective on that. This is about an, a change in perspective that's really boosting your energy. Because the five of pentacles, right, it takes you from the four, which is holding back, and moves you to the six, which is moving on. So you've left this certain part of your life behind, or this delay, this um, stagnated energy, a feeling unwanted, maybe a feeling underappreciated. You're coming into a time now where you're seeing things differently and where even maybe things you didn't appreciate before, now you really do appreciate. 
And I feel like in return, you're gonna feel that appreciation coming back to you. And it's not to say that it was your fault that these delays were occurring. It may have been, and it may have been something else. We're not gonna focus on the past. I feel like it's unnecessary and it's too much of a weight. And I did see that 10 of wands earlier in the cards. That's not useful. So for whatever reason this delay had happened in your life, maybe a delay on your finances, delay on your love life, delay on certain goals that you wanted to achieve, you know that's coming to an end. And maybe you just don't see that full picture yet, but that's okay because whatever you're focusing on is working for you. And I don't even wanna spoil that anymore, so I'm not gonna clarify what you can't see anymore because I feel like you're not supposed to see it. I feel like you're in a sweet spot right now, the sweet spot. Maybe that's what I'll call this. <laughs> that could be really cheesy, but that's okay. You're focused, I think, on your coins. You're focused on building your independence. You're focused on the different options that maybe you missed out on before that you're, not, you're gonna take advantage of now. Queen of Wands energy, yeah. You're gonna take advantage of the opportunities that you see now. I feel like you're gonna throughput, I just heard, throughput. So you're going to complete projects maybe that you had left behind with this Queen of Wands energy. You're going to complete um, new goals. You're going to be very disciplined. And um, I feel like this is manifesting for you. Perhaps you're waking up every day and manifesting, and even subconsciously, just by getting into this disciplined routine energy of getting things done, getting it done. And that's bringing you what it is that you have been wanting for a long time. Ten of Pentacles, let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles energy. And this does kind of uh, surround a partnership for some of you as well. So you're coming into contact with someone who you may not know yet um, is going to be in your life for a really long time in a, in a positive way. So about this Ten of Pentacles, you may already know that this person it, it just, I'm hearing mustard seed. <laughs> what is that? It's a scripture. Faith of a mustard seed. So this person could be looking at you that way and thinking, I, I just feel like this person's supposed to be in my life. Or you're going to come into contact with them and it's going to grow from something really small into something really beautiful and long lasting. Oh, wow. And I just heard mother. Some of you want to be a mother and maybe you thought it was too late for you. Oh, this is making me want to cry. But um, it's not too late. It's not. So we have the Ten of Pentacles clarified by the lovers and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is what you want. This is happiness and I'm hearing, yeah, love and happiness. It's something you thought you may not ever have. It's been a long road, nine of wands here, wounded warrior energy. <laughs> Some people say the wounded healer. It's like it's been a long time, but she's, she's still going. Doesn't have to be feminine energy. He's still going. So, yeah, and I'm hearing ignite. And I, yeah, I felt the Hierophant energy earlier too. Yeah. This is what you had become accustomed to, things that just kept leaving. Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. But you surpassed that now. That energy is leaving. And you're not gonna focus on it anymore. I feel the determination in this reading, the way I'm just saying, you're not going to, you will. It's like somebody is really making up their mind. And that's such a beautiful thing. Let's just get some oracles. Yeah, so this is about starting over. Make the change and endings are inevitable. I feel like this is what has happened you had gone through, and I'm hearing multiple endings, multiple endings in your life. You could have maybe parted ways with lots of different things, behaviors, people. This was you making this change. The number seven is significant here. Life path energy, maybe you're a life path seven, um, but you don't have to be. 
Seven is very significant anyway in overall life paths, and that's what's coming through right now. So you have made changes, and these changes are doing, <laughs> they're doing you good, yes. How's that for happily ever after? This is the underlying energy. It's because you have taken these actions. Let's see, is there anything else before I close this message? Which I'm, I'm so thankful to give. This is such a beautiful message. Yesterday's was a bit rocky. Yes. Something beautiful will grow from this. That's our overall energy. And don't seek anyone's approval. I feel like that's the path you're on now. So continue, please, collective, because this is beautiful and you're doing quite well. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> um, so yeah, lovely. That's what I have for you. That's what I have for you. I hope this has been helpful. Don't hold on to it. If it's not for you, let it go. And until next time, all is well. I'll see you soon. Bye.